Here is your latest end time news from tradcatnight.blogspot.com. Ladies and gentlemen, get to Tradcat Night on a daily basis. Spend 15 minutes or more. We are by far the most comprehensive and followed traditional Catholic website in the world. Ranked number one by Alexa in the world, a top 30,000 website. Keeping you up to date on all of the latest end time news as we head closer to the fruition of the third secret of Fatima. Now, this particular segment in this short piece we're going to cover uh, from the mostimportantnews.com. It's been confirmed the quote-unquote arch of the triumph is going up in New York City on September the 19th. Now, do you all remember the buzz that occurred when the Arch of the Temple of Baal was supposed to go up in Times Square back in April. Well, that project was scrapped, was ultimately canceled, but now it has been resurrected, can we say, in a new form. In, in April, a reproduction of a different arch, this Arch of Triumph, was erected in Trafalgar Square in London. And now another reproduction of this famous arch will be going up in New York City on September the 19th. Two big cities, obviously, to the New World Order, London and New York City. This particular arch is not the same one that stood directly in front of the Temple of Baal in Syria. Uh, in Syria. Rather, the Arch of Triumph was constructed at a later date by the Romans, and it served to link the main street of Colonnade with the Temple. So there's definitely a connection with the Temple of Baal. As a matter of fact... Uh, in this, according to this article, it is stressed of this connection. According to Wikipedia, the monumental arch was built sometime during the reign of Emperor Severus, which lasted between 193 to 211 AD. It linked the main street of Colonnade and the Temple of Bell. The arch was meant to integrate the southern and central parts of Colonnade as its location marks a change of 30 degrees in the orientation of the street. According to some sources, the structure was built as a triumphal arch to commemorate the Romans' victories over the Parthians. So some interesting news here. I will personally dig up a little bit more information on this because obviously this has to have some uh, deeper occultic meaning to it. New York City and London obviously being very... Uh, important to the New Age's plan. As a matter of fact, Maitreya is in London right now. New York City is certainly a hotbed of discussion in terms of where the next false flag uh, may arise out of. So something for us to uh, keep an eye on. So make sure you subscribe to Tradcat Night for all of your latest end time news. Visit Tradcat Night. Along the right hand side, there's a plethora of resources and links for you to uh, discover and use not just only uh, traditional Catholic apologetics, but covering all of the different areas that we cover here at Tradcat Night as it relates to the Illuminati, GMOs, health, prepper, geoengineering, secret societies, all of these things that interconnect, which help us realize the times that we are in. New poll question will be up tomorrow night. Look for that. There's a TCK blog archive one-third of the way down the page. Make sure you're spending a lot of time there to get caught up on all of the latest information that we are putting out. In this information where I need financial assistance, please click that donate, uh, that PayPal button and donate to Tradcat Night. If you haven't already, uh, I need consistent, uh, stable support. It's the only way we can maintain and grow this apostolate and, and gain further visibility. We are in a war against the mainstream and Novus Ordo sites, no doubt about it. If you have news tips, articles, videos, blogs of your own, send them to me at apostleofmary at hotmail.com. And lastly, if you have suggestions for radio show guests as we are resuming them here in September, please do send me your list of special guest requests along with their email uh, contact information and I will be sure to send out an invite. Till next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe and God bless.